Hey, Ray Hayden here, and this video is going to be about the CPU fan on my desktop computer, which started making some noise. Um, I didn't think that it was this fan. I thought it was a different fan. Um, this one back here, um, towards the back of the computer here. I thought it was this fan that was making the noise. I thought it was a balancing issue or something like that. And I tap on it, and the noise would stop. And I'd think, well, that's that's it, because the noise stopped. That was it, but not not quite the case. Um, as I looked around and listened a bit more, took the case off the top of the computer. I realized that you know, I basically just took my finger into the computer and, and pushed down on top of the fan and, it, and the noise stopped with the fan. So uh, <laughs> everything stopped and it was like, okay, well, I identified where the noise is coming from because there are a number of fans in the computer. There's this one right here, okay, on the back. This one here takes air and it pushes it into the computer case to circulate the air around inside the case. Now, if you look through the case, you can see my hand back here moving around, see my fingers moving around. They're resting on top of the uh, graphics card, which has another fan inside of it, okay, so to get the heat out of it. So that fan's pushing back towards me. And then this silvery thing that you see right here, I guess right under here, you're going to see this silvery material. Those are fins, and they are mounted directly on top of the, uh, the central processing unit, the CPU. And then this fan rests right on top of this. Right. Actually, has little placeholders there. So, but then it also had screws. You screw the, you screw the thing down with screws. All right. So, uh, but but this fan goes right here. The power for it goes plugs in right right here. If I can kind of use this as a pointer, there's four little pins. There's a uh, kind of a silvery button right there. That's a screw that holds the motherboard down to the case. And then there are four pins for this uh, power connector here. So let's pull this back out for a second. One out. And then of course the uh, power unit on top of the computer right here, this has a massive fan as well. Now what's going on is this fan shoots air straight up to get it off of the uh, CPU. This fan that's in the power unit uh, takes the air and it blows it down. So these two fans are blowing air towards each other in a very tight space. And then this other fan that I have on a computer is basically sucking air into the case uh, through here to circulate it around to get it to go out all the other vent holes I have uh, for the various uh, fans and everything else. So uh, that's going along pretty good. And then this, this uh, power unit here also has this, this uh, large screen on it to help get the airflow through to get the heat out. So that's, that's what the whole thing's all about there. Get the heat out and away from the delicate products, uh, components. On the CPU fan, and I'm going to talk about it, I'm going to move the computer over to the side for a second, or for, for the rest of the video, actually. <clears throat> Alright, so the, for the fan itself, um, I'm not going to take it apart again, because I don't want to take these things apart uh, more, than a, more than a few times I already have. In the very center of this, you'll see a white ring. Inside, and then inside that, you see a little dark pin. You can think of that, what you're looking at, as a screw, like it's on top of the cap there, and it's, but the other direction. Okay, so kind of think of it like that, but it's a smooth, it's not a screw, uh, it's a smooth uh, pin, and that's the very center of that. It is connected to the top of the fan, and that is the piston on which this thing spins around, like the axle of a wheel or something like that, you know, it just, that's where it spins around. And then on the inside of the cap against the outside wall of this round disc in the center there, there is a, uh, a metal uh, ring. It's a flat metal ring. It's as tall as the uh, cap of the uh, fan, the blue fan part of it, uh, the blades. And this is, 11, this is an 11 blade uh, cap. Not, I'm not sure if any of that even matters, but you know, just what it is, I counted because I was wondering how many blades are there? Anyways. So um, that ring is there, and then there's that pin. That's the only thing that's in this, in this blue. Nothing moves. I mean, other than this thing spinning around the way it is, and that's because it's sitting on top of that um, piston, all right? Or the piston sitting inside this groove, all right? The only other thing that goes on here, there's two things, two other things that go on here. One is a little rubber grommet that just, you know, fills that space right there, and then the other thing covers all these little holes except for this uh, thing down the side here. It doesn't cover these wires, but it just covers the center part of this, and it's a little uh, sticker that you might see on there, right? Now the sticker, of course, as soon as you remove it, kind of loses its stickiness, and I'm not too concerned about that, but I am concerned about that center part because that's where dust can get in there, 
and then help make, you know, get things clogged up a little bit so this fan makes noise. Now the fan's spinning around, it's making no noise right now. I got the microphones on the camcorder right in front and you don't hear anything on that while it's spinning around. But when, and, and it sits in the computer like this, so it's not sitting sideways or anything like that where it's like weighted, it's just resting on itself and um, you know, it's making no noise. But it was making a lot of noise inside the computer. So yesterday when I had taken this thing apart and tried to get it all cleaned up, <clears throat> I did the same thing that I did today and I used a whole bunch of these, um, you know, uh, cotton swabs, and I cleaned everything out, cleaned all the fan blade, you know, cleaned the fan blade and, and the casing around and everything, and I cleaned it all up, and I just used regular alcohol, the rubbing kind, not the drinking kind, and I just uh, go ahead and clean that all up with that, it's just stuff you have around the house, but yesterday I used grease, and the grease that I use, I use a light coating of the grease, because I figured grease is going to hold up longer to, you know, more usage and everything else, more spinning of the fan. Uh, that was my thought process. It's probably a bad one, though, because after a few hours, the fan started making noise again. So for today's experiment, uh, what I've done is I did a different deal, and it goes along with, like, back when I was in the military when we had to clean our firearms, you know, every now and then we'd have to clean them, and if we made the armorer mad when we were turning in our weapon, they'd have a cleaning day and we'd all have to clean our weapons because we made the armorer very angry with us. But anyways, uh, the thing with those is the same with, with computers. It's a delicate instrument. Firearm, believe it or not, is a delicate instrument. And if you put too much oil on the internal organisms, uh, the uh, mechanisms of the weapon, it can get dust in it. Dirt, dust, stuff gets stuck to the oiling that you've done, and it makes it like sandpaper inside of the firearm, and it's not going to work when you need it to work the most, if that day should ever happen. The other thing that you have is if you don't put enough oil or no oil at all, over time, what's going to happen is some rust is going to develop or some kind of corrosion. Same thing happens. It's just the same thing in the other direction. You still get some kind of a sandpaper operation and it's not going to work. You're going to have a failure with your weapon at a bad time. Same thing with the fan, right? Uh, inside this cap is that, that metal part and I put a very light coating of WD-40 on it. I kind of think of a mechanical joke. If, it, if you need to move and it doesn't, you use WD-40. And if it, if it moves and it doesn't need to move or you don't want it to move, you use duct tape. So that's what it's kind of humorous. But uh, anyway, so same idea goes here though. Um, so instead of the grease, I cleaned all that out. And as you see again, I got, yesterday I got some dirt out of the thing too, but I got more dirt out of it today. And I think that some of that is due to the grease and some of that is due to the metal thing being cleaned with alcohol a little bit heavier. As a matter of fact, this is because this is from cleaning with the alcohol, right? So that's a piece of metal on there. So it's probably had a little bit of corrosion built up on it or whatever and humidity uh, in the state of Florida and all that uh, kind of added to a little bit of things that help it make noise. Now it might still be a balance issue. It, it doesn't seem like it's having a balance issue, but you know, it, it, you know the distances are real tight in there. Um, so who knows, right? So I'm prepared to go ahead and buy a new one. These, these uh, fans can be had, this is a 92, mine particular happens to be a 92 millimeter fan. Um, they come in all different sizes. You need to know the size of your fan if you're gonna have to replace it. And as you can see, this is just like plugging a fan, a little fan into, almost like plugging it into the wall, but it has this funny little connector on it. If you look at it real close, it's got those two little lips on it there, those two little uh, things sticking out. Those uh, go on a slide. There's a little piece of plastic inside the computer, so you can only put this in one way. If you try to put it in, it's not going, it's going the wrong way, you're breaking it. So if you have to force it, you're breaking it, stop what you're doing, to rethink about it, make sure that you have the thing set up the way it has to go to plug it in properly. So what I did is I put this back in today after I did that, I just took it back out again. And the reason why I'm not taking it apart is I don't want to keep taking these little pieces off the back and breaking them and then having to buy a new new fan. But if I need to buy a new fan, I'll do that. But I'm going to put this back in here now. Uh, but I had it in there a few minutes ago and I had it turned on, powered on the computer, and it, it was whisper quiet the way it's supposed to be. So I think that every now and then, like once a year, six months, or you know, six months or a year, uh, take it apart, clean it up, you know, get all the get all the gunk out of it. If there's any gunk up in there or whatever, take that out, clean that out. Use a very light coating of uh, WD-40 on there, maybe once or twice. Make sure it's got a, a you know a decent you know uh, cycle going on to it, and everything's working. Power it up, check it, and if everything's good, we're good to go until it starts making noise again, and hopefully not. If I stay on this, it's pre preemptive uh, maintenance, preventative maintenance. If I stay up on it well enough, what will happen is I won't have to worry about it. I'll just you know, take the thing out, take it apart a little bit, um, 
cleaned it up, put my little you know rubber stopper in the back to keep the dirt out and everything else. And if, if not enough dirt gets in there to make a noise and I keep a cycle of cleaning these fans and stuff and the inside of my computer up to date, then I won't have a problem. I'll prevent having a problem in the first place. But if the fan goes bad, no big deal. I'll just take it, uh, you know, buy a new one and, and install it when it gets here. And if my computer's down, I still got my laptop that I can use to make videos and things of that nature. Anyway, that's going to wrap it up for this one. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up, like the video, make a comment below, let me know you came by to say hi. And if you haven't already done so, please hit the subscribe button and join the network. I greatly appreciate the growth on the YouTube channel. So until I catch you in the next video, take care and be well.